So it's that time again. It can happen at any moment, really. Once a month, Mother Nature calls. It's natural. It's beautiful. Actually, wait. It's gross and annoying, and I hate it. But us girls, we have a choice. We can be drugged through our periods, kicking and screaming. That was quite dramatic. Let's rewind and try that again. Or we can get up and be confident because we're ready and prepared to kick some period butt with these handy dandy period life hacks. Hey guys, it's Annie and today's video is one for the ladies. That is right guys, today's video is all about our periods. If you're new to my channel, I post videos every week. Hit the subscribe button if you would like and if you are subscribed to me, make sure notifications are turned on. Click the little bell and uh, you know, you'll be notified when I post my videos every week. But back to the period talk, I'm very excited to announce today's video. I'm partnered up with the Lily Cup to present to you some period life hacks. And I'm so, 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 so excited to be working with Lily Cup because I have been wanting to try one of these out for so long. I believe so much in what this is all about. My personal opinion is you spend so much throughout your lifetime on menstrual like products and whatnot. But then on top of that, creating so much extra waste. Like in one, you know, month of my menstrual cycle, so three to five days, I create about an entire little bathroom trash filled with period related trash. And that happens every single month, every single year for like 40 or 50 or however many years of your life. That is a lot of unnecessary money to be spending and a lot of unnecessary trash to be creating. And for me personally, that's the biggest reason why I'm so drawn to this. So eco-friendly, I really believe in this. I definitely recommend you guys trying this out. I use this for my last period and I am hooked. It's so simple. And I know some people do think like, oh my gosh, but that seems so weird. You have to empty it and stuff. Well, I'm sorry if what I'm about to say is graphic, but you know, this is natural. Period shouldn't be something that you're like grossed out about. I am so open about being on my period. I literally tweeted about it the last time I was on it. So like, don't be ashamed of it. Anyway, what I'm saying is like with tampons, you still gotta reach up in there and you put it in your trash can. They sit there, which is in my opinion, that super gross. With this, you just take it by this little end, pull it out, empty it out, rinse it off, and it's good. But yeah, I had a really good experience with this. I am hooked on it. Down below, you can find links where you can get your very own Lily Cup. But enough with this intro, it's time to get on to those period life hacks. As I mentioned, pads and tampons not only create a lot of unnecessary excess waste, but they also contain pesticides, fragrances, rayon, bleached cotton, dioxins, and all of this is absorbed into the body, not to mention they cost around $3,000 in a lifetime. No, thank you. So the fix for this and my first hack is to switch to the Lily Cup, and 2017 is the year of the menstrual cup. 91% of menstrual cup users said that they would recommend it to their friends, and four out of every five women make the change thanks to their best friend's recommendation, and you guys are my friends, so I'm recommending it to you. The Lily Cup is made out of 100% medical grade silicone and that's completely harmless for your body. This one is a Lily Cup compact and it comes in two sizes. This is size A and then the size B is recommended for people who have given birth down there, if you get what I'm saying. And it folds up into this little tiny case which can fit in your purse and you can take it with you anywhere. With that being said, to use, you can first of all get a good sanitizing sesh going by boiling it in water. I try to keep it from touching the actual pot itself just for safety than to use. It's very soft, very flexible, easy to use. So you just fold it up, insert, and you're good to go for up to 12 hours. So you could basically just forget about your period. By the way, this costs around $40 and lasts for a decade and tampons cost around $700 in a decade, which is insane. You're saving a ton of money. Anyway, to remove, you just pull it out by the end, pour it out, wash it off. And another tip is you can actually hop in the shower really quick, take care of it all at once, and you're good to go. Also, you can feel extremely comfortable in these. You can wear them to sleep, to work, to play sports, to yoga, move around however you like. You are completely free in these. They will change your life. <laughs> or how many times has this happened? It's like a scene from a horror movie. 
Before moving on to the hack observe as I make fake blood because no, I'm not gonna use real blood in this video, that would be weird. But how many times have you gotten stains on your sheets? Well, I will teach you how to completely remove those stains with my second hack. On a fresh period stain, peroxide on its own can do wonders. P.S. Uh, I put a secret ingredient in this to make it bubble because yes, the real thing will bubble on your sheets. But this is just a quick tip. If you really wanna bust through any stain, even wine stains, you wanna mix two parts peroxide with one part dish soap. Soak the stain for at least 20 minutes. I would say even an hour or longer would be better. Then rinse it out or you can put it straight in the washing machine and voila, no more stains. You are welcome. My next hack is for avoiding the sheet stains all all together. Meet your new best friend, Mr. Red Towel. You don't have to buy some fancy period sheet or mat. Just lay down a red towel when it starts getting close to your period. If you have an accident on it, there will be no stain because it's already red. You can just pop it in the wash or if it's still clean, just leave it there and you're good to go for the next night. Speaking of stains, let's talk about underwear. How many times have you had to throw away your underwear? Well, my next hack is to have dedicated black period underwear. Buy about three to five pairs, or at least one per however many days you generally have your period for, and have them specifically to wear on your period so you no longer have to worry about those visible period stains and you will have less underwear in the trash. Now let's talk about when you're minding your own business and your cramps hit. Oh God. My next hack is to make your own easy heating pad slash bottle. All you need is a jar. Turn the faucet all the way up until it's as hot as it gets and then just fill up that jar. Then you just wanna put a tight sealed lid on it and there is your very own easy heater. Not only is it good for cramps, but I for one get really cold hands and feet when I'm on my period and this really does the trick. P.S. You guys can thank my mom for this hack. Thank you, mother. Staying on the topic of cramps, my next hack is a simple DIY cramp soothing rub. All you need is coconut oil and peppermint essential oil. The peppermint is the main active ingredient. The coconut oil is just to kind of dilute the peppermint. You just combine the two and rub them over your cramping area. And it just creates a cooling, soothing effect. This is also great for if you have headaches. You can place it on your temples, your forehead, and on the back of your neck. But on your head, I would use more peppermint oil than coconut oil for it to work well. You can also make an easy to go version by mixing up a batch and putting it in old makeup containers. Just keep in mind that it will liquefy or solidify based upon the temperature, so be cautious of the container you use, and then you can just take it with you wherever you go. We also want to make sure that we're just super prepared for our period at any given time. Say you lose track of your monthly gift and you're hanging at your boyfriend's house and all of a sudden, <gasps> your period sneaks up on you. But it's okay because you're always prepared. That's right, my next hack is to have a little period kit and keep it with you in your purse or in your bag at all times. Things to put in there, your lily cup, a little spray bottle with water. This is to clean your lily cup if you're at a public restroom, although you probably don't need to since it lasts up to 12 hours, but better safe than sorry. I would say pack a feminine wipe, not only to clean yourself up, but you can also use it for lily cup cleaning, but spray with water after using. Make sure you have some period pain meds, and this is a little container of my DIY period cramp rub. And there you go, you are set for whenever mother nature tries to sneak attack you. And my last hack has to do with cravings. Can you guess what it is? That's right, chocolate. I'm telling you to eat chocolate. Is that not the best advice ever? Dark chocolate is actually a good thing for you to eat on your period because when you're on your period, you're losing magnesium and chocolate just so happens to have magnesium. It can help with cramps, increases energy, and it contains endorphins, which are the happy hormones. And it actually has a lot of other benefits as well. So go ahead and give into that craving, treat yourself and eat lots and lots of chocolate. Yay! Thank you.